ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to, on behalf of uh, the Vietnamese community, and uh, especially in the nail industry, uh, we realize that uh, there's a PPE uh, supply shortage everywhere in the city of Chicago hospital. And so uh, we uh, have a team of goodwill, and we try to bring the urgency to our community and our people uh, stepping up for America, especially for Chicago. Uh, so it's time uh, for the community to give back. Uh, it's an honor because uh, the heroes are you guys, the people who work in the hospitals. And so uh, we don't want to fail you. And, uh, and that's what we, uh, we try to do uh, as much as we can, uh, bit by bit, box by box. Um, and so now uh, I'd like to uh, turn the camera back to you. So I'm yeah. Susan Rowan. I'm the Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs here at the UIC College of Dentistry. Uh, I am deeply appreciative of the volunteer spirit and the donations that are being provided. We know that every, as you say, bit by bit, every glove, every mask can help a healthcare provider keep themselves safe as well as their patients safe in order to manage this incredible crisis. Um, I'm going to defer to our dean, Dean Stanford, who can probably provide a little more detail in terms of what the needs are. So, uh, th well, well, thank you, and thank you very much to the Vietnamese community on behalf of UI Health. Um, what we are doing right now is the entire health system is coming together, all the seven health science uh, colleges, the clinics, Miles Square, and the hospital itself. The, everyone is preparing for what we call the, the surge, which we expect to occur in approximately the next two weeks. Um, the, with the shortage, one of the key things we're doing is really acting to help to support all of our medical colleagues right across the street. And so what we are do, have been doing here is bringing all the communities, the dental community in Chicago, the, the nail community in Chicago, many, many different participants that are helping to bring patient uh, personal protective equipment together so that we can help support our frontline providers that are right across the street, right in the throes of this. So thank you very much. Thank you so much once again. Yeah. Deeply appreciate it. Uh, so I hereby have some questions, as I have questions everywhere, uh, each and every hospital that, that we donated to. Sure. Uh, this is for the purpose of our audience in the community. First, do you accept uh, handmade masks? Because we have teams, and there's some hospitals, hospitals already accept it. I just want to know that. Um, on behalf of the hospital, can you speak? Uh, they yeah, well, they are using masks? handmade masks for uh, incoming patients who just are coming into the hospital. Um, who are not necessarily uh, sick with uh, COVID. Okay, so that is a use for hand 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 yes. masks. Yeah, all, yeah. All, all patients, everyone's yeah. getting masks. These are legit. Uh, we got this from Joanne Fa Fabric, oh, yes. but because they closed down, so there's, um, but the, our operations still have the, to, you know, producing. So I just want to okay. get yes. a sense of uh, what, you know, the demand and supply are. Sure. Uh, and then, uh, in terms of urgency, you know, I heard that N95 is a hot commodity, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then secondly, it's surgical mask. That's like, mm -hmm. so N95 is like gold. Yes. Surgical is like silver. Silver. Yeah, silver. Yeah. And glove yeah. is like yeah. bronze. Yeah. 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 yeah, right? It might be right. the silver. The cloth mask, mask for most people uh, on the street in, yeah. the, in the civilian yeah. world. The cloth masks are probably going to be the direction the CDC is going, mm -hmm. as we it's going to take a while for getting all the medical grade uh, masks and PPE equipment up yeah. uh, in terms of uh, volume. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, with the way the commodity of 2020 goes, I think the handmade mask mask will be equivalent to Benjamin at a dollar a hundred, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but you know, uh, yeah, once again, you know, I. Uh, we just want to show our, our gratitude to the heroes in the hospitals. Uh, that is deeply from our um, community, uh, especially in the nail industry particularly. And so, uh, yeah, be safe. And uh, thank, thank you for your thank work. You. Thank you. Thank you very you. much. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, give it.